Hey guys, Vizerlo here. So if you're thinking of getting into streaming or just capturing your own gameplay in 2019, there is a lot of options, but if you watched my video on capturing, like just a way to capture your Nintendo Switch, that method was very, it was not the greatest method, it's not efficient at all, and it's really annoying, but considering it's free, I guess it's fine. But if you really want as high quality as you can get when it comes to capturing your own gameplay for YouTube or streaming or whatever, you're going to want a capture card. And capture cards are usually quite a bit of money. But in this video, I wanted to talk about this one company who I'm a fan of because their capture cards are known for being very high quality. I own two of their products, and that is Elgato. And I love Elgato capture cards. And in this video, I'm just going to be explaining to you why Elgato capture cards are worth the price, even though they are sort of, you know, kind of expensive. But if you really want a high quality experience for recording and just making your videos, then Elgato is really the way to go. I'm going to try to keep this as unbiased as I can in some parts. Of course, this is my bias and you are watching this to see my opinion. However, that is just how I guess it's going to have to go because Elgato capture cards are the only capture cards I've ever owned. But if, if like an Elgato capture card, if one of mine broke, then I probably wouldn't be making this video. I'd probably be saying why Avermedia Media is the best. However, without further ado, let's get into why Elgato is a great option for capturing your own gameplay. So if you don't know exactly how a capture card works, you really do need to know how that works to understand Elgato and Avermedia and all those other companies that make really high quality capture cards or just well-known capture cards. So the, basically, I'll just give a really quick rundown. The way a capture card works is that it takes the HDMI or whatever connection you're using that goes between your console or your PC or whatever it is and that goes to your monitor or just TV. And it sits in the middle of that connection. So say you have an Xbox One and you're connecting that through HDMI to a TV. You're going to connect your HDMI into a capture card and then take the other end out. Uh, take another HDMI cable and take that out the other end of the capture card and plug that into your TV. And essentially the capture card sits in the middle and it just records your footage. Now usually how it works is you have some direct connection to a computer so on El my elgato hg60 you have to use a micro usb cable to plug into your computer and on some capture cards you have to put them directly in your pc but why would you choose elgato like their capture cards are high they're high in price and a lot of people use them so why does everyone use elgato capture cards because yes there is other businesses out there that offer capture cards at lower or sometimes even higher prices but the reason why I like Elgato and why a lot of other people like Elgato too is because their capture cards are really high quality. Their base capture card right now, the HD60S, captures at 1080p 60. And that is a very workable resolution and frame rate in 2019. 1080p is like the standard and 60 is basically what everyone should be using at this point. If you're using anything lower than that, then it's just not nearly as enjoyable of an experience. But talking more about their just quality, so I own an HD60, like I said, and that is built really well, and it never really overheats. I mean, sometimes it heats up, but it never really gets to a point where you can just, you can just feel it just burning, like you feel like it's about to explode in your hand. Like, it's never like that. And I don't even know why you would be holding it, but like, it's the build quality on Elgato capture cards are good, so you won't have to worry about, say, dropping it or something like that. And I will admit, another reason why a lot of people use them, this is not really in the quality part, it's just a reason, is that they have, they just look really nice. Like, the HD60 has this, like, like, light strip on it, and that's another reason why a lot of people use Elgato products, because they just look really nice. But talking again about quality is that, for example, you get this free app that's called the Game Capture app that literally has a whole bunch of settings that you can use. And I think it actually does have like some editing features built in. And that's for using your Elgato on it. So you can download that for free and you can just use your Elgato with that and it works really well. So yes, they are high quality, but what are the prices? So let's just say you want to get the base model right now. 
in Canada, which is where I live right now, you're going to be paying $220 on Amazon. So, not cheap at all. For a little bit extra money, actually no, not a little bit extra money, around that same price, you can buy like a 2DS XL. Or like, you can probably find around there if you're in America, I think it's around like $170. Yeah, for that price, if you can just spend an extra $50 and get like an Xbox One S. So, it is a pretty big price premium. But again, this is really for if you want the highest quality. Elgato has three products though. And I'm going to say that most people are probably going to be fine with the HD60S for capturing their footage. However, they do have two others, the HD60 Pro and the 4K60 Pro. The HD60 Pro, I own it, but I haven't used it. I got it at a really good deal used. And it was, it's just a really good capture card. I really want to try it out just because of the fact that it captures really nicely. But I would not really recommend that for most people. It is a little bit more than the HD60S, but you cannot use that on like a laptop or anything. Because like, if you look at the HD60S, and this is a problem that I had because I thought I just, I didn't know this when I got my HD60 Pro. Essentially, with the HD60S, you can use that with whatever because it's like its own device. The HD60 and the 4K60 Pro have to be inserted into a computer directly, and that can only be a desktop, and it can only be an ATX desktop. So, essentially, a very, a pr pretty large desktop can only work with the HD60 Pro and the 4K60 Pro because it has to go directly into the motherboard. So like I said, for most people, they'd probably be fine with the HD60S, if I'm being honest, just because it's the most modular. You only want ones that can actually go into a computer if you want, like, H.264 hardware encoding and, like, extremely low latency when recording. And the 4K60 Pro, like I said, same thing basically as the HD60 Pro, has to go straight in the computer. However, that one is a lot more expensive, like, it starts at 500 Canadian dollars. And it, the only benefit really that I can see for people to really want it over the HD60 is that it records at 4K60. But for most people, that's, a, that's just not really going to be a priority for them. And most likely they're going to be fine with the HD60S or the HD60 Pro. So all in all, I think that if you really do want to capture footage and you're not willing to pay for the Elgato price premium, then I think that there are other options for you. Like, Aver Media has some good products from what I've heard, and those are generally quite a bit cheaper. And you can find these versions of, or just these capture cards on, like, Amazon that are, like, maybe 70 or $60. Sometimes you can find them for really cheap, for, like, $30. That are, like, really tiny, and they can capture, like, 720p. Those, if you really have to, like, capture something, then they're fine, I guess. But if you have the extra money and you want to get a quality capture card, I would recommend Elgato. I think that their capture cards are just, they're really high quality. And for most people, I would recommend the HD60S. But of course, that is my opinion and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments. And as always, see you.